Welcome to the house of a writer, film producer, the creator and the host of the show, Film Denea. It's an ordinary family house. Ha ha ha! You missed it! Enough is enough! Everyone, go to bed! I am so tired and they are still full of energy. I totally forgot! It must be our new nanny. Welcome, miss. Do you need help with your stuff? No, thank you. I can manage. We've prepared a cosy attic room for you. You must be exhausted after travelling here. If you need anything, tell us. The new nanny arrived last evening. The children were asleep. In the morning, they rushed up to the attic to play hide and seek. What was that? It is the biggest suitcase I've ever seen. I wonder what's inside. It's locked with a massive lock. The children's nanny opens the door. What are you doing here? Didn't your parents tell you that you shouldn't touch other people's belongings? Are you Mary Poppins? No, my name is Vivian Dorothy Meyer. And now go to your room. Why didn't she unpack everything? Is she hiding something? What if she is a criminal and our parents missed it? We should investigate. can't open the lock. Do you have any idea where she keeps her key? Stop, I can hear footsteps on the stairs. Quickly, hide. The nanny is smiling and pretends that she doesn't see the children hidden behind the curtains. I wonder where the children are. I will look in the garden. The children quickly slipped behind Vivian's back and ran to the garden. The children are playing in the garden and planning how to discover the contents of Vivian's suitcase. They do not realise that their nanny can hear them. We have to distract her and find out what she's up to. We are going into town. No questions, please! Look, she's taking pictures everywhere! Why is she taking a photo of the letter? I saw a pile of newspapers in her room and cut out articles about robberies and murders on her table. Where did I leave the key? Of course, it's under the pillow. Psst, be quiet. Do you have any idea where she keeps her key? It must be here, under the pillow. I got it. What? Why is she taking pictures of such strange people and things? Who would take a picture of rubbish in the bin? We should show this to our mummy and our daddy. Where did you get those photos? In our nanny's suitcase. Did you go through Vivian's personal things? That's rude. But mum, she could be a criminal. She's not a criminal. She's an artist. All of you, go and apologise to her. We are very sorry for looking through your belongings. It's all right. Actually, you're the first to see my pictures. I love to photograph everything. But nobody saw my pictures. I love your picture with a donkey. Do you want to say that you didn't show your picture to anyone? No, I wasn't sure that someone would be interested or like them. Vivian, your photos are amazing. Phil? Children, I have a great idea. Let's organise an exhibition for Vivian. Look! People are commenting how amazing the photos are. Viv, everyone loves your pictures. In the real life, Vivian Mayer stayed undiscovered until 2007. Tragically, Mayer had died only shortly before Maloof had begun attempting to find her. In 2007, John Maloof paid $400 for a box in a blind auction in Chicago. Bill Donner on finding Vivian Mayer. A genius was living in our spare bedroom. Mm-hmm.